Do you know someone that if you tell them something, everybody in the whole area is going to know what you told them? We're going to look at somebody like that right now. Good morning, guys and girls. It is January 21, January 21. We're looking at the catch of the day scripture out of Luke 8, 39. Go back home and tell how much God has done for you. That's a great story where that came from. I know exactly where that came from. Go back home and tell people how much God has done for you. That was Jesus speaking. And Jesus was talking to a man that ran around in the hills naked run around screaming and hollering and tormenting people. And he cut himself. He could pick up sharp rocks and cut himself on the arm and on his face and on his chest and running around naked. And, uh, and, and, and Jesus found that man. He was traveling with some of his disciples, and they pulled up uh, there on the Sea of Galilee, Lake Genesaret. They pulled up there on the bank, and this guy came running out of the mountains, come running out of the mountains, screaming and hollering and running at them. And there was a guy that they had tied up with chains and ropes, and he was so strong he'd go crazy with these demons that he would break the, the, the chains and get away. And they came running at him. And you can just imagine if you were in the boat with Jesus and everybody was scared to death. But Jesus simply walked up to him, and he cast those demons out of him. And the story, as the story goes on, a little bit later, they found that man sitting around a campfire talking with Jesus clothed and perfectly sane and normal. He wasn't screaming or hollering. He wasn't crazy. Demons had been cast out of him. And it, actually, Jesus sent them into a herd of pigs. The herd of pigs ran into the water and all drowned, run over the cliff and all died. And uh, so, but that man wanted to go with Jesus. Uh, Jesus had just cured him of totally being insane, possessed by demons. And he said, I want to go with you. I want to go with you. And this is what Jesus told him. Jesus said, go back home and tell people how much God has done for you. And you know, he must have really done a great job. Because if you'll continue on in the Bible, not too far, a few verses later, uh, Jesus goes back to that place again sometime later on. And guess what? 5,000 people showed up. You talk about a marketing plan? That's a marketing plan right there. 5,000 people showed up. 5,000 men besides the women and children. And it gave God, gave Jesus a chance to do more miracles. All right. About used up my whole time talking about that. That's one of my favorites right there, though. Go back home and tell people how much God has done for you. All right, here's our devotional. Some fishing patterns are like the seasons. They're only productive during a short period of time. For example, the spawn only lasts a few weeks. So fishing for bedding bass, short-term opportunity. The time to fish actively school fish is usually just a short period of time each year. That when they're schooling and run around chasing chad, they catch them up on top. Certain lures are super effective only for a few weeks each year sometimes. Jesus spent a mere 33 years on this earth about 2,000 years ago. He repeatedly told those whom he encountered to tell others about their experiences with him. He wanted to make sure that we knew who he was, why he came, and especially how much he loves us. He loves our families and he loves our friends. This Jesus, our Savior, the one we trust and depend on to get us to heaven and eternal life, is now depending on us to tell others how much he has done for you and for me. Be sure to tell somebody today. Wow. Wow. What a devotional. You know, one of my friends that subscribed to our channel sent me a note the other day, and, and you know, we've got a lot of them out there now, over 30,000, uh, sent me a note and said, thank you for doing what you're doing with the catch of the day. You realize that your catch of the day, your YouTube channel might be the only Jesus some people ever see. Well, it's the exact same thing for you. You might be the only Jesus some people encounters today. So be sure and tell them what God's done for you. Our tip this week, customize your lures by adding a little red to them. <laughs> well, those of you that have been with us on television for 40 some odd years, and even if you've only been here for a short period of time on, on uh, YouTube, you realize how important I think adding red to a fishing lure is. Every single lure that I've ever developed 
and designed for any of the manufacturers that I've worked for always had some red in it. I put red eyes in all the crankbaits I developed. I put a little red on all the spinner baits, put a red on all the top water. Uh, we add red hooks to baits a lot. Uh, you know, this is an old story I can tell you. I'll tell you someday, not today, because I've already gone way overboard on what I need to be doing on this catch of the day. But, uh, but it adds some red to bait. In the early days, I would take uh, fingernail polish and put a little red on every bait that I, that, that I, that I did. Now we've got things like dip and dye. Uh, they've got pins that 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 that, uh, that dip and dye makes to, um, uh, to to be able to, to paint your lures and, and add color to them. So it's very easy to change your lures. You can even dip your blades in red. Now they've even got blade dip that you can dip your blades in and turn your, your spinnerbait blades red. So add a little red to everything you're fishing with. It'll get you more bites. Hey guys and girls, go out there and have a great one. Tell somebody what God's done for you. I love you.